What up guys, Jonathan from Virtual Personal Training here and I wanna share with you guys a few issues that my clients bring up when it comes to the holidays and when it comes to their fitness. But before I continue, if there's any questions that go unanswered in this video, feel free to click that link in the description. It's gonna take you guys to our fit path for busy professionals in the Facebook and, uh, fuck, in the Facebook. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try that again. You get to witness firsthand the struggle I have with video. It's okay, man. You don't got to pay attention to me. No more. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, let's try it again. <clears throat> hey, guys. Jonathan from Virtual Personal Training here, and I'm here to share with you a few concerns that my clients generally bring up when it comes to the holiday season that tends to stop them from their goals, or so they think. But before I continue, if any questions go unanswered in this video that you may have, feel free to click that link in the description. It takes you to our Fit Path for Busy Professionals on Facebook, where a group of trainers is happy to answer any questions that you may have. Okay, so going into these concerns, one of the number one concerns that a client will bring up is travel. Lots of clients travel, lots of you guys travel. You go off to see your family, you go off to work, and whatnot and the main thing is you go away from your gyms you go away from your trainers and you go away from just what you're normally used to and that's usually what knocks a client off course so to a client I would say or to you if you have that same concern I would say don't focus so much on what you normally do if you're normally in the gym hitting weights if you're normally in the gym with your trainer it is okay if you're traveling to do something different. There's a bunch of home workouts online that you can be doing. If you have access to some weights, there's a bunch of weighted workouts, body weight, dumbbell workouts that you can do. Or better yet, there's a bunch of gyms around the country, around the world, wherever you go, that allow free passes that you can get into. Case in point, don't let traveling make you think that you have to stop working out because fitness is everywhere. You don't need your usual gym. If you're going on a trip, find a way to work out regardless. 30 minutes to an hour, you can still get it done. The other concern that clients bring up is time. Work deadlines happen, family comes to visit, friends wanna hang out a little bit more, the kids are on vacation, so you gotta take care of them all sorts of different things that come in the way when it comes to time. So what I usually tell someone when it comes to their time is dial it back a little. Usually there's this all or nothing mentality that follows with time, meaning that if you don't work out for the time that you normally would, you feel like you can't work out at all. Nonsense, you can work out. What I tell clients is dial it back. Like I said, if you work out normally for an hour, Work out for 45 minutes, work out for 30 minutes, heck, work out for 15 minutes if it's in a day. If you normally work out six days a week and the holidays have you really restricted, work out for three days during the week. Work out for whatever time you can, but don't feel like it all has to go. Remember, an all or nothing mentality can be very detrimental to your goals because you don't, even if you can't do it all, you gotta do something because that's better than nothing, all right? So that's usually the advice I would give for time. And then the big one, food. Nothing beats holiday food. Nothing beats Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner, and all the wonderful food that is going around throughout this holiday. So biggest strategy is monitoring, tracking, maintenance, most of you guys may already know how much you're supposed to be eating. If you've been doing this for a while, you tend to generally already regulate how much you eat. So I would say to you, don't let that go off the rails, okay? If you plan on having Thanksgiving dinner, or if you plan on having Christmas dinner, or any kind of work dinners, friend dinners, whatever it is, on that day, just eat a little bit lighter in the morning because you know you might indulge a little extra in the evening. Perhaps have your workout earlier so that you can continue burning calories throughout the day and then you can enjoy yourself in that evening dinner a little bit more. And then, of course, track. Nothing beats tracking because if you know how much you're supposed to be eating throughout a day, you know how much to eat in the day, in the afternoon, so that you know how much to leave over for the dinner. 
If you indulge a little bit early in the day, let's say you have breakfast with the family or lunch with the family, you'll then know how much left you have for the rest of your day. So that's the beauty of tracking your calories, tracking your food. And that's generally what I tell clients. Don't let it intimidate you. Don't let it feel like you have to all of a sudden just cheat your meals away, all of a sudden go off the rails. Not at all. Track your food, stay on your limits, stay on your portions, keep on your exercise, and believe me, the food will not get in the way of your goals. Guys, I hope those tips were enough to answer a few of the questions you have. Like I said, if you have any more, click on that link. It's going to take you to our Fit Path for Busy Professionals on Facebook, where a group of us trainers are there to answer any questions you might have. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.